The FBI is now the lead agency investigating the Trump assassination attempt. The site of that Trump rally this morning, of course, part of a massive crime scene. The question still needing answers, how this happened and what do we know about the person responsible? CBS national correspondent Ross DiMattei is live just outside where that rally happened in Butler, Pennsylvania. Good morning, Ross. Thanks for joining us. Set the scene for us. What's happening there right now? Sure, Robbie. So uh, we arrived here. This is the Butler Farm Showgrounds, the site of former President Trump's uh, rally yesterday. And we arrived here around 430 this morning and there was a strong state police presence. They're the ones who have maintained the perimeter around the uh, farm showgrounds themselves and haven't let anyone in or out during the overnight hours and now into this morning. So essentially you have a long line of media outlets reporting on the very outskirts of where this rally took place. You can see the giant flag probably uh, behind me. That is a typical backdrop for former President Trump's rallies that uh, he usually stands on the stage right in front of that and delivers his speech. So that's where the attempted assassination took place. And in terms of law enforcement, we know that the FBI is now leading this investigation. It's hard to say uh, we haven't personally seen any FBI agents out here, but they don't exactly make themselves uh, apparently known. So we may have seen some without really knowing it. We assume, though, that they are currently leading the investigation on the ground here in Butler because uh, we've seen so many of the elements from the rally yesterday still in place. And that's typical of any crime scene. They try to leave as much of that crime scene intact while they carry out this investigation. And we know this is going to be one of the most analyzed and scrutinized investigations in United States history, considering this uh, was the scene of an attempted assassination on a former president and now a candidate for the presidency again. Well, Ross, what do we know about the shooter or has, have you heard any discussions of a possible motive? We haven't heard much in terms of a motive. We do know, uh, according to senior law enforcement officials, that they have identified the shooter as this 20-year-old uh, from about an hour south of where we are in Butler, Pennsylvania, uh, just south of Pittsburgh is where his home is and, and where he's from. And we know that uh, from that law enforcement official that, again, uh, the FBI has uh, basically gone to the shooter's house, has made contact with his family. They're currently investigating uh, all of his ties, anyone who may have helped him carry out this assassination plot. But again, the big question right now in terms of the shooter is what is the motive behind this assassination attempt? And also here in Butler, the question is how was the shooter able to get so close to the former president? We know that he was uh, technically on the outskirts or uh, outside of the secured perimeter for this uh, rally. But again, it, it's Secret Service's job to uh, clear any potential uh, risks in terms of where shooters could be stationed. And uh, apparently this one got through the cracks. We know that the shooter was able to fire off between six and eight shots at the former president. The big question is how, and that's what this whole investigation is now centered on here in Butler. Ross DiMatteo, CBS national correspondent there on the ground for us in Butler, Pennsylvania. Thank you so much, Ross, for being with us this morning and for the additional insight on what is happening right there, right now at the site of that former rally. Massive, massive crime scene and investigation now underway. Thank you so much for being with us this morning.